Hello, beautiful humans. Welcome to this reading. We are getting a message from spirit for you. The divine, the all. That's what we're going for. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Welcome to this channel. This is Do You Tarot and my name is Erica and what I do are pick a card readings on here. So what I just did is I shuffled and I got three cards from this deck and those you can use to feel your way into which of the three groups or the three general and timeless messages you are most drawn to. And then once you are aware of that, like either significant numbers or your intuitive knowing or psychic awareness, head to the timestamp. It'll fast forward you to messages for you that will resonate a message that you need to hear from spirit. Group number one, we have this card change direction with ease and it's the number five. Group number two, single mindedness with the number 14. And group number three, dancing in the rainbow with the number seven. But okay, again, feel your way, trust your guidance. Trust your awareness, head to the timestamp, fast forward. I will see you there in your message from spirit. Hi, beautiful humans in group number one. You all were drawn to this card, this change direction with ease. So these are your messages from spirit, what you need to know right now from that source kind of energy. Your card, it says this is a time for change, shape-shifting, or your soul's evolution. It is a time to reconsider what you're wanting. You may be in for a surprise. Okay, well, I mean, like, we're literally starting right there, and we're going to get some guidance about this change and sort of maybe where to look or, like, you know, <laughs> what you need to be focused on because something is happening inside of you maybe this is an awareness of how you want to interact with what is outside of you but yeah um your message is coming through i feel like saying your message from spirit is coming through with a hopeful vibe or a hopeful energy like can you shift into this perspective <laughs> the intuition card is showing itself um can you shift into this uh perspective because it'll be a whole lot easier for you um, when you do if you can see yourself or the vibes or I don't know <laughs> we'll see we'll see just in general from a different kind of a way or, or looking at it then everything can go a whole lot smoother because this change needs to happen um you need to take part in it. You need to be a part of it, like conscious awareness or like empowered part of the whole thing, you know, is what I'm feeling like. Be aware of it and then also play your part in it. Um, bottom of the deck is this is the hermit card in this deck and it's introspection. And it's literally like, uh, let's find it out. Let's see what it is. Let's go there. Let's figure this out. Bring conscious awareness to it yeah Let, let's let's use our focus in that direction like go inward and see a thing or two but okay your tarot cards we have five of cups yes i have to say <laughs> very first thing do not be afraid of how you feel don't be afraid of emotions there's a lot of encouragement just already in the energy of this that emotions are how you're going to be able to guide yourself or direct yourself forward so when they come, when they, they come to you, they're always some kind of a navigational indicator. Um, okay, I'm getting some more cards. We also have the Six of Swords and then the Intuition card. I, I kind of want to get all your cards and then go from there. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles as well as the Witch, which is the Magician card in this deck and the temperance card the intuition is an extra card in this deck um basically i'm feeling like you you <laughs> do not hold back from what you find internally uh the more you resist that as in it's not all right to feel what you feel to sense what you sense it's not all right to be sensitive it's not all right to build up your inner world um your values your system 
like anything like that, it feels like you're going through this kind of energy. Uh, it, it, honestly, it feels like a contraction. It feels like a so that you can open more. <laughs> um, I associate everything with birth. Um, but yeah, the six of swords, it just feels like rest well, put your mind at ease. Your mind can play a part in this, but not as much as your heart and your intuition. And when you feel certain feelings, it'll unlock certain certain modes of behavior. It'll unlock new new directions for you. It, it'll show you a path that you can work really devotedly on. That's Eight of Pentacles right here. It'll feel really good to be committed to kind of in partnership and in harmony with wherever your emotions and your intuition are directing you to right now. It almost feels like your whole message is, is about how it will be so much easier if you let yourself do that, group one, rather than behave in that kind of a way of where, you, like, the, the, the proof has to already be there before you act. Intuition is the proof. How you feel is the proof. It's hard. We haven't set up society or culture to really align with that a whole lot have we <laughs> um you're on the leading edge <laughs> um you're pushing pushing the paradigm here but yeah a whole lot easier manifestation a whole lot easier lessons learned skill and mastery and expansion and balance comes from doing it in this kind of a way it just requires an easy mind Maybe it requires you to be in physical landscapes and physical space that promote easy mind, that promote now I can be at peace. I need peace surrounding me. And then it feels like you'll be able to handle this, you know, contraction, this like clenching kind of a thing with greater ease because your awareness will be placed in the exact locations that it's best suited to be placed in to help guide you and guard you through this change, what you're going through. Again, it feels like I want to highlight that eight of pentacles in the physical in the physical, you're going to get to know exactly what to do, um, exactly how to handle your resources, exactly how to build. Manifestation becomes easier. Balance and expansion become easier. Mastery becomes easier. Your next two cards, love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. I honestly feel like that, that plays a part, almost like these literal words play a part in this. It's kind of like, if we don't feel what love isn't, you know, if we don't let ourselves fully feel stuff, then we won't get to ever being aware of what love does truly feel like and how we can intuit our way into that frequency and on that road, you know, so we stay in that vibe and keep going with love this is just, I mean, like, this is, this is the revolution of our times, isn't it? You're playing your part in it. You're doing your thing. But it really feels like there might be some things inside of you that just desperately want to clear out of your system. They want to go because they aren't the love vibe. They aren't the self-love and the love for others and the good of all things kind of vibe. There's something... I'm, I'm feeling this... Okay. I'm going to give an example because it's the best way to like express this, I feel like, because keep, it keeps popping up in my head. Like my mom used to spank us like for punishment and to control us like her kids. If I actually like I used to say things like I'm fine, that didn't damage me. Like it's just a spanking. If I actually feel my feelings about that one, <laughs> it, it did damage me. <laughs> it's not all right to be afraid of your mother. Um, in that kind of way. <laughs> um, just like for me, from my perspective, if I'm actually like feeling my feelings about that one, um, <laughs> that's the kind of stuff that wants to come up. So let it. It's it's not gonna be the easiest thing. There there will be tears probably. <laughs> there will be reckoning. This is what you've got going against this ease of change right now. It's fear. Holy shit! Look at what it says. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. 
that is exactly what we were pointing out, even to the point where I'm talking about be in that frequency, be on that road that is the love one. Love and fear. Aren't those the dualities of our times? Are you making choices out of fear or are you making choices out of love? Like, I mean, in my example, that's very vulnerable to speak about, about my mom. I mean, a lot of my devotion to her was based on fear. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to say, but I'm going to share it with you guys because I feel like it helps for your messages. Um, okay, I'm getting a few more cards for you. Ooh, look at this one. You have eighth house that you're going to need to visit. <laughs> it's like, go dark, go deep, go home. You know, it's like, dive down into the abyss and see what's there. <laughs> the stuff that you do not normally or usually talk about is the stuff to visit right now. It's, it's, it's the mystery to unfold and unlock inside of you that will lead to all of these benefits that we're talking about here, like clearing patterns, clearing your system, realizing some things. And here we've got the, uh, the clenching. We've got the constriction. We've got the, the, what the fuck, the birth. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> contraction. Oh my God. For those of you who have given birth and felt a contraction, that's what I'm feeling for you all right now. For those of you who haven't, you know, there are machines that simulate period cramps. Just hook yourself up to one of those. Um, debilitated in discomfort. Although in this reading, I know that you are feeling those kinds of things just in general anyway. Emotional pain takes on a whole new challenge than physical pain, to be completely honest. Maybe it's because I was born a woman with the birthright of physical pain and I know physical pain so well. Emotional pain is what will drop me. <laughs> Emotional pain feels like it's what will drop us all if we actually let ourselves feel it. And there's a, there's, a, there's a heavy dose of what you need to feel because there's wisdom inherent in it and it will guide you to easier resources, easier manifestation, easier balance, mastery, expansion, easier devotion to something that makes sense for you and is right for you. So then it's not even a challenge to stay committed to it and to stay partnered with it. Love channel. You're going straight into the love um, current, you know? Ooh, balance with Libra energy. Libra energy. There's there's something about, I mean, even the balance of love and fear, the balance of light and dark, the balance of chaos and order, change and stability, you know, balance is at work right now and you're going to need to indulge in and engage with whatever would be the dual, whatever would be the opposite. Um, and then we have fourth house with home. I just, I have to say that it feels like you're coming home into yourself. And these also might be the areas to really, really focus on with, with what you want to feel about and what's coming up inside of you. It might have a lot to do with your home and your living space right now. Um, it might also have a lot to do with those dark parts of what we don't discuss or we don't even look at when it comes to those things. Oh, like, you know, secrets kept or something like that that don't even um, need to be. I'm getting some more cards for you all and we'll see a bit more about this. But like fourth house kinds of things like your family, your most intimate relationships, your living space, where you might be um, matriculating from, <laughs> your hometown, paying it a visit. Shit, that feels really relevant and really maybe hard. Um yeah, uh, oh my gosh, you guys have so many cards. Okay, I feel like starting with these and then these and then you guys don't need to know my mental process right now. <laughs> A lot of cards came out and then we messed up the cards. I can hardly handle it, but I know we're going to be fine. Um, yeah, I like things to be in order and right now I have to handle chaos um, okay, when I'm recording these videos. Okay, here we go. Your cards, your next cards. Haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown, heart, love, deep affection, and caring, and money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Um, I'm going to get these cards as well because we have January with this frozen person with almost like a Pinocchio nose. 
like lies will lock you up and make it stagnant. This haystack is always like a kind of, when we talk about karma, it's always like a cautionary tale. Like be in your heart space, be devoted to something that matters to you. Don't get frozen and locked up because you've committed yourselves to lies or falsehoods or maybe keeping lies and sharing untruths because that was the order of the day maybe in the family that you come from or in the culture that you come from. Lies are the way to get ahead. Untruths are the way to receive what you need in life. <coughs> Excuse me, I have to cough. <coughs> Staff. You will be taken care of in difficult times and rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Arguably, that pattern of behavior is what you are releasing, what you are dismissing. Because like a more heart-led and a generous pattern of behavior is coming through in the truth of who you are. Like almost your innate self wants to come through, your your love wants to come through and be a part of your money. That's eight of pentacles, money path right here, and be a part of how you relate to others a whole lot more. Just everything wants to come through you with greater love and nothing else blocking that. What would have blocked it, what I'm seeing here is essentially that behavioral pattern that I saw before, where if you keep the family secret, if you lie about it, then you get ahead. If you just bury your emotions, if you don't feel it fully, how much it hurt, how scared you were, how much you had to survive, you know, and then you would be taken care of. All these kinds of things that we're challenging ourselves to go through in our modern times right now, there's a bit more that just wants to be defrosted and dealt with and realized and, and just like gotten rid of. It's just a, a consciousness. Conscious awareness, the light of awareness is what sets us free. And bringing that light of awareness to, to eighth house and fourth house is not the easiest thing. Eighth house is like, let's look at our sexuality. Let's look at death. <laughs> let's look at money. <laughs> let's look at the darkness and, and the secrets. And then the fourth house is the home we were raised in, the home we have built, our safest sanctuaries. We're, we're going to those places. Spirit is guiding you to those places right now. Ooh, okay, and then these four cards. We have dog barking with advice from a friend. And I find it so interesting that in this card, it almost looks like a maze. And I feel like you might have someone communicating with you who can be the guide through the maze. Right now, I'm thinking of um, Jason with the Minotaur at Knossos. And how there was like the daughter of the King Minos who gave him like a spool of thread so that he could go in and kill the Minotaur. <laughs> I don't know. You got someone who's giving you a spool of thread. Don't, don't betray them. Oh, as I say, don't betray them. We've got Peacock. Beware of great pride. Because that, that's a bit of that, that karma with the Jason and the Argonauts thing. Wasn't it like Medea or someone like that? I don't know why I'm remembering so many details of that story. Um, but yeah, the daughter of Minos, like she fell in love with him and then he like promised her all these things and I think they had kids together and then it turned into like a Greek tragedy <laughs> where he like betrays her and, and leaves her and then it's really bad. Um, I won't go any further because you're getting that caution of like someone is genuinely trying to guide you through this. Do not balk at them. Do not bite their heads off. Do not fuck with that. They're literally trying to help. So take care with that. And then we have vase, secret admirer. And then we also have lion, time to act. Oh my God. I mean, like literally this is Jason. <laughs> this is that whole story. <laughs> someone really cares for you. Okay, you need to act on that. You need to take 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 that into account and awareness. They literally want to help you through this. It might be very uncomfortable for you and you might feel like it's a, like a, a side track for you or something like that. You might feel like it has nothing to do with where you're headed and, and you don't think the same way about that person or something like that. I want to say that those kinds of things in this moment in time don't necessarily matter now. They can all come out in the wash. What matters now is that someone is trying to help you get to where you need to go with this. I don't know, this might be like resistance to your therapist. <laughs> and you're like, my therapist doesn't know what they're talking about. I need to get a new one. And then these messages are like, 
listen, just go to, go to just like one or two more appointments with that same therapist and see what they have to say because they're really trying to care for you and they're really trying to help you through this. Your last card, wow, the meaning is in the middle and the number 22, which to me always harkens to intuition, high priestess energy, the power of the divine feminine within us all to guide us and show us the way the divine feminine is again born into pain as a birthright knows emotions Eckhart Tolle likes to talk about the pain body that is so much more present in the female physical female so touch your feminine touch down into that you gotta feel some shit you gotta intuit some shit and you gotta lean on a person or two you gotta have relationship and connection that be valued a whole lot more in this moment in time memento mori life presence depth I did say you got to dive down deep into the trenches, you know, and see what's there and stay present in that. Um, almost as if your life depends on it. But I mean, like the love current, you'll find it easier there. You'll, you'll get through this. You'll get through this. You'll figure it out. Do not despair. You have the courage and the strength to visit these things, to understand a whole lot more and to combine it with your efforts and your energy and your frequency and seeing the good in all things and not letting fear hold you back to prevent you from being in that frequency of love. Okay. Don't betray Medea if it is Medea. Okay. That's what I have for you all. I swear. I feel like I could swim around in this a whole lot more with you all group one, but I sincerely hope that these messages have found you well and that they are helping you. If so, give this video a like, subscribe, comment below, connect with me. Also check out the links that I have in the description of this video because I have a link to the next group tarot gathering, group tarot reading. If you are a reader, if you want to be a reader of any kind of divination tool, grab your tool and come with something that you would like to receive a reading on. We gather together over Zoom and we give each other readings. That's what we do there. If that sounds like your jam, your thing, and you really want to join, head to the link, see when the next one is, find out some more information. Otherwise, I'm sending you on your way. Please remember, we are all free and we are also all connected always at the exact same time. I love you. Hello, beautiful humans in group number two. You all were drawn to this single-mindedness card. So these are your messages from spirit. What's, what you most need to know from that benevolent heart space is what we're going for. But okay, you were drawn to this single-mindedness card and it says choose your own path and what is best suited to you. And I know just from the vibes alone right now before we get the tarot, I know that your message is about making up your mind like choosing something and <laughs> knowing even like how to do that maybe or trusting self um, is like the first step that you got to kind of like get over the hurdle of. Um, I don't know. I feel like you'd rather let somebody else make up your mind for you or something else make up your mind for you. What's on the bottom of the deck? Five of Wands. I mean, there's a reason for that. You might be very conflict averse. And if somebody else tells you what to do, then you won't have any problem with them. You don't have to face any kinds of charges of challenges with them. While at the same time, you're never approaching your world or your life from an awareness of self-preservation and sovereignty, freedom, and utilizing yourself as your own resource to to be able to like, you know, ignite your own love body. I don't know why I'm saying those things. I'm channeling and then it's going in all these kinds of directions of like, you're missing out on this full potential of power and ability right now in your timeline by being uh, unaware of your own choices, unaware of your own vitality, vibrancy, frequency. Like, it just feels like unawareness might suit your mode of behavior a whole lot more because, again, then you don't have to face the challenge of, like, upholding who you are or upholding what you would like to do in that situation rather than someone else. Might feel like conflict is too big of a hurdle right now and you just want peace even if it is in the violation of self. 
or the sacrifice of what you want to do. Okay, here we go. Your tarot. We have Warrior of Cups as well as the Two of Pentacles. It's it's just a requirement right now. I mean, I'm going to get some more tarot cards, but who you are, what you want, where your heart is driving you forward into is a requirement for balance right now. If it's not included in the scales of justice, so to speak, in your life, then things are going to continue to be out of sorts and out of balance. And I almost want to say with this Two of Pentacles, other people might be relying on you more than you think, more than you realize. Like it's that energy of like, if you are a parent and if, if you choose to go down a path where you're being kind of abused or harmed or hurt or mistreated, that is energy that gets visited down into your children. It's harsh, harsh, harsh responsibility to judge on that. But I feel like you've got other people who are relying on you. And if you continue to be unincluded in the mix of things and in the balance of, of I just keep hearing justice and then the balance of awareness of like who's right, who's wrong, what you want, who you are, then it's going to be kind of visited negatively down on those people who are, are pets, <laughs> situations, environments, businesses that are reliant upon you. We've got the spirit of wands and this is the grace of justice that I, I feel like saying we all need. I feel like including myself somehow in on this. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I need your visionary pursuit. I need your command. I need you to be included and to tell us who you are, what you're about, like, like where your power is and how you see the future and how you would go about building it. The spirit of wands is an exceptional energy of, of stabilized creational power. Like, you know who you are, you see the map, you've designed it yourself, and you know who and what needs to be included in planning and preparation for achieving this grand vision. I feel like you have this inside of you and every part of that, every part of your innate nature that that goes along with this might be being vilified right now and, and it, it almost feels like treasonous. Jesus, I am channeling so many words for you guys. This is weird. Like it feels treasonous to try to partner with you and then defile that vision that you have of who you are, what you want, where you're going to. It feels like like someone might be trying to I just feel like I, I'm feeling very piratey. I feel like saying commit mutiny. Like you're meant to be in charge. You're meant to be the leader of your situation. And for some reason, you're being put in the in in the, the back burner. Or or like you're just being suppressed. Ugh. We have the four of pentacles. And then it feels like this energy of like take charge of this situation by doing good things for you to you I really feel like being good to you is the biggest thing to do right now like undeniably like do everything that is good to you help others take part in that as well it's going to require some things let's see your last two cards the moon as well as the five of swords okay <clears throat> talking about something else. Um, I feel like this four of pentacles effort of de doing good to you and helping others do good to you and for you as well, support you accurately and sufficiently, protectedly, you're going to have to treat others with the care of like communication about that, clarification about what is required and what you need. You're going to have to face these kinds of challenges and I feel like the moon and the five of swords is sifting out with great awareness who you are going to have to like, I almost want to say include and exclude in your reality for a period of time. Because some people with this five of swords here are really either not going to be aware of it and maybe not going to want to be aware of it. Or they're just going to like kind of continue in this mode of behavior to where they're going to violate what you require about that whole doing good for you, to you, with you, about you. You're monumental and you're being treated as if you are like um, a pattern of a hassle. Or you're being treated like your behavior 
it is like unaware or you don't really fully get it or you just need to be contained and and your selfishness needs to be stopped jesus okay um we're getting two more cards we have grief damn i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it i just really feel as if there needs to be an awareness right now in your situation that you will be losing some people due to that challenge that you are avoiding. Ah, and I feel like that will cause the grief and, and the issues, but it's the avoidance of that that causes more and hurts more. We have denial. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, that's what we're illustrating here is maybe what you all, I hate saying things like this, what you all might be in denial of or unaware of. It says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. For good reason, you're afraid to, to take on this cause for yourself. For good reason. I know people are challenging it. I've channeled enough words at this point in your reading to know what you're what you're up against here. I have awareness of that. Um, <clears throat> it feels like your fear of having to do something about that is holding back you. And I just really feel like there's this energy of like, you have to have the grace of awareness to acknowledge that others are being negatively impacted and maybe vilified by this as well. Oh God, I'm getting the vibes of like, don't ask, don't tell policies. I'm getting the vibes of like, you know, if you, if you don't come forward, then you'll continue to benefit by the system and the system is corrupt and shitty, you know? Okay. Your next cards, we have the solar flares card with activate that came out. Oh my God. We cannot get away from this. Spirit is not letting you get away from how much you need to be prominent right now. We've got Leo coming out with the solar flares activate card. Leo says shine solar flares and is, is literally when those like, like in, in the guidebook for this card, it's like when a solar flare happens, action and activity of life on planet earth, like just surges and we can measure it. That's what you've got going on right now. There's a surge coming through you for you and it's not meant to be denied and you're meant to use this surge to be very single-minded and to choose your own path and what is best suited to you and to stick with it and shine in it despite the hazards and the challenges. The moon card is here with like, you're going to need to figure out this path. You're going to need to find your way. And you're going to need to navigate it through the illusions of dogma or doctrine. And like I said, toxic situations, toxic behavioral patterns. I'm thinking of like, you know, sexual manipulation in the workplace and the Me Too movement. I'm thinking about uh, a lot, honestly, a lot, a lot. I'm thinking of injustice within justice systems and needing to go ahead and do something about it. We have Capricorn energy now coming out with Achieve as well as Scorpio with Investigate. I literally feel like literally interpreting these two cards to mean that you're going to have to achieve some form of an investigation uh, in your situation due to circumstances being outside of your control. This might mean go ahead and do your part, play your part in like either gathering evidence, if that applies, if, if that suits what you're going through right now, or it also feels like gathering the courage with that four of pentacles of like somewhere, somehow, something needs to do right by you, needs to do good for you. And just claiming that territory is calling the awareness of investigating the situation that you stand in just like um yeah i'm getting some more cards but yeah again you're going to need to achieve an investigation into your situation because it's um it's harmful to you it's harmful to you and others 
And if the investigation is achieved, that's a part of this whole thing. I don't know. I feel like I'm going in a, in a lot of directions here and getting it bigger than what you can solve in this moment in time. So let's get to these cards and see where it's taking us now. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort. Dogs getting together with friends. Grapes, time to go out and have fun. Um, connection plays a huge part in this. And the more you connect with others, the more you join together with others. I feel this energy of a movement being created and, and the solid tower being built. And, and <clears throat> more energy of freedom being possible as a result of it. I feel like really powerful and useful connections are here for you if you choose to take part in them. I'm sensing support group kind of energy. I'm sensing gathering together with like-minded people. I'm sensing opening up to friends about what you're going through because there's power in that. Right now I'm thinking of the whole, what is it, Big Little Lies? That whole mini series and book. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Table, hard work ahead. We've got tower and table. It feels like plan this. It feels like motivate yourselves to get to that point where you can, your spirit of wands energy, you can lay out a whole direction, a whole path, a whole plan. And then with effort, with others, with connecting in positive communicative kinds of ways, you get to with your with your struggles with your continuation of achieving that investigation kind of thing you get to you get to move go be do be free stop being in that kind of uh, like i almost want to say a catered to situation where we're all pretending as if you're lower than you are less than you don't have power you, you might be treated as infantile, but that only serves a certain amount of purpose. Like, you know, like a person who just like treats you as if you can't do something yourself. And then that has an influence on our psyche that convinces us that we can't. Yeah, we have spear, heartache over what you no longer have. And I feel like that might be the greatest challenge is to acknowledge that certain mindsets, people, situations, environments, harmful, you know, all that kind of stuff is going to need to move onward, is going to need to go. Again, this processing of emotions about this whole thing, but it's your emotions that are being so suppressed as to where you want to head to and what's true for you. And then we have Valley with deep personal strength and peace that assure success. This is the outline that I feel like you guys already know. You just need the courage to be able to take it on and come forward with it. And your last three of these tea leaf cards Vine, seek out information that will help you, not unsuccessful plans, and pineapple, reconciliation. This is all very interesting. It feels like you need to seek out information, literally, literally, seek out information that will help you, you know, achieve that investigation, that will help illustrate or illuminate how <coughs> plans are being made for you without your control, without your equality, without your consent. And then it feels like in time, there is the possibility or the awareness of the potential of reconciliation of you and other for whatever you have going on right now that you don't really want to take part in losing or letting go of. It feels familial. It feels uh, like powerful. It feels intentional. You have connection with whatever this is. You have a high regard for it, which might be why you're following it something some mindset rather than your own but you need help you need information to help you untie this unravel it understand it discover more about it and see why it is an unsuccessful plan for you and those who are dependent upon you and then comes the potential for reconciliation once that whole thing is unraveled and understood and your last card from spirit is the witch number 41 I don't know why, but that number might be very significant for you. Creatrix, lotus flower, and free will. You have to create your own destiny. You have to be very single-minded right now because it is so helpful and healthy to you and to others. It's a space to occupy and be in. And it says on this card, I wasn't always like this, you know. I had to create who I am. 
your card that you were drawn to, you choose your own path and what is best suited to you. You're going to have to create who you are. You're going to have to seek out support for what that is. You cannot be on a back burner. You can't be suppressed. You can't be vilified. You can't have the mutiny of your leadership. You can't do that. It's an unsuccessful plan. I just really feel like you've suppressed your plan for the sake or the benefit or the generation of somebody else's. This is giving me the vibes of like you forego your career and support your spouse's. That's not going to work. You're too powerful. You're too great. You're, you're too monumental. And let's not kid ourselves about that, okay? We need to activate your shine power. You need support crew to be there for you. Four of pentacles, four of pentacles, four of pentacles. Start there. You got more than enough advice and guidance and clarification for where to head as well. I mean, I feel like this reading peppered you with a whole bunch of guidance of like, here, here, this, this, try this. Um... Yeah, take your time with this. Awareness is the first step. And then your creational power comes online. And you can get going with your free will. You can make your free will choices. Isn't that the single mind in this card? Yeah, connection never works very well if free will isn't honored in all individuals. I feel like you already know that. With the spirit of wands or the king of wands right there, you already know that. You know to honor the voices of all involved. Your voice isn't being honored. So let's stop that, okay? You're too powerful. You're too great. Okay, I'm done. I could keep going though. <laughs> I really want to be there for you. <laughs> I'm part of your dogs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to clear my energy. Um, if this reading has helped you, if it has brought you something that has really genuinely helped, then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. Comment below. Share all those beautiful things. Also, check out the links that I have in the description of this video because I have the link to the next group tarot reading. We all gather together over Zoom and we read for one another. So it's very valuable if you want to practice um, your divination or your intuition or your psychic energy. Bring your tool of choice. It does not have to be tarot. It can be oracle. It can be pendulum. It can be like anything tea leaves, anything that you use for divination and you want to join with others and practice it. Also come with something that you would like to receive a reading on because you're going to receive a reading from several different readers when you're there. So you get a lot of perspectives on your situation. So if that sounds like something you want to do, head to the link, sign up for the next one, see when it is, get more information. Otherwise, I'm sending you on your way. Please remember we are all free and we are also all connected always at the exact same time. I love you. Hello, beautiful humans in group number three. You all were drawn to this dancing in the rainbow card. So these are your messages from spirit, that bright light that we can all feel inside of us. That's what we're channeling for you all. You were drawn to this card and it says break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. Express happiness. Find out what you truly desire. I, I truly feel like the message that we're tuning into, I honestly feel like I'm telling you what you're about to enter into. It just feels like a bit of charitable grace from spirit or the universe or your situation just in general of like people like you. The world around you likes you. We all like seeing you do well and thrive. So take on the challenge of doing that. <laughs> like embrace what you're about to harmonize with. I, I don't know why you need a reading on this, but let's see with your tarot cards what this is about. Basically, I feel like I'm telling you, you're entering into a period of abundance, prosperity, happiness, joy, growth, potentials. Um... All those kinds of great things. Okay, I had to listen to your cards. Bottom of the deck, we have the three of wands. And it feels like you've been on a journey, moving yourself forward in some kinds of ways, waiting for, you know, the challenges to come up or ready to take it on. Um, you're flowing with it all. It's going well, maybe, in some kinds of ways. Things are growing in the direction that you want them to grow in. You get to move a little bit more freely now. I just feel a whole lot of positivity and just the way she's moving on this card and the way it says dancing in the rainbow and express happiness. There's something about who you truly are and how you're choosing to embrace it that just emanates that to others. And it's just kind of infectious. 
It's kind of like a dose of medicine just to witness you right now. So be witnessed because a whole lot more is going to come from that. People like you. <laughs> they like seeing you. They like watching you. They like being a part of your world and you and your reality. Okay, let's see a bit more. We have the moon card that wanted to come out. We also have the warrior or the knight of wands. I feel like the challenge is to do more. To do even more and not hold yourself back in this time in this frequency, in this mode of being. It's kind of like in really good yoga classes that I've been a part of, the instructor the instructor always says something that I'm like, damn, that was deep. <laughs> You're a good yoga instructor. You're bringing the yoga into this exercise thing. Because um, I've taken a lot of yoga classes that were more like exercise and yoga. But like, I, re I remember when instructors have, have said like, nothing lasts you know, hold this pose, even though it's a challenge, commit to it for like 11 or 12 breaths, you know, S like you can do this, just allow that this too shall pass. And then they bring up something like, even happiness doesn't last forever. So don't cling to it, you know, let it move through you and flow with you, enjoy it while it's there. Like, you know, it's just like allow everything to continue flowing. What I feel like is you all might be gifted with that challenge of embracing the period of happiness while it's here and making the best use of it while it's here. We also have the Nymph of Pentacles and it feels like get going on some ideas be the hero of your own journey and your own destiny. You have the ability to do that right now. Present your ideas to others. Start to build on something that all you had done so far is plan a creation of. Feels like this is a masterful time to be able to bring things into the physical for you because people will like to witness you doing something like that and maybe even arguably help you. I like that in the background of this Nymph of Pentacles, there's Jupiter and also she's surrounded by coral, which coral is, isn't, isn't coral the plant, the symbiotic relationship of the plant and the things, oh, what are they? <laughs> Phytoplankton, plankton, what lives in coral? Can't, isn't coral just like the combination of both or otherwise it doesn't exist? I really feel like people really want to help you with some projects and stuff like right now if you want to get going on that you got help at hands um and then we have intuition as well as nine of swords as well as eight of cups and i feel like these three cards are coming together and one simple appraisal of your situation is like be guided by your awareness of where help from others is and let that make your choices and your decisions through you like for you right now. If help from others isn't there, if you aren't being appraised with this kind of rainbow power, loving energy of like, we just love seeing you dance. Like, it just feels like this energy of like, put up more TikToks. People are gonna love you dancing to the TikTok dances. Um, I just sounded so old when I said that. <laughs> the TikTok dances of the newfangled thing. <laughs> Um, I need a rotary phone right now. <laughs> okay, it just really feels like you don't have to worry too much about trying to get people on board with you. You don't have to like impress anyone. You don't have to influence anyone right now. It's just if the people are there, fuck yeah. Like make use of that. Like have fun with it. Um, please them. Let them please you. Like dance around with that. Build with that. Go for that. Otherwise, if they're, if they're not there, don't spend a single fucking smidgen of your energy on trying to convince them of how worthy you are. It's just like, pff, don't waste your time. Right now, right now. During this period of time that you're in or that you're entering into, that you're like falling into the embrace of, don't fuck with that. <laughs> they're not going to come around. <laughs> it's not worth it. You got other people. Um, God, I love this nine of swords that she's in a garden and it feels like she's smelling like herbs and she's got a pomegranate in her hand. It's just like, don't waste your time on the insignificance of those who cannot enjoy the bounty. There are others who are right there, who are in the rainbow with you, who see it, who want it. 
We've got death and then we've got health. <laughs> um, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Um, and then we also have health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Yeah, that might be hard. That might be why you're getting this message of encouragement to be the warrior, you know, of this moment in time. See it, see through the illusions, you know, and, and get right on that path that you're being guided to that is dancing in the rainbow. Um, and it really feels like stay in the vibe and the frequency of health and, and let those challenges just kind of like fall away. Um, your intuition is right here. It's the rainbow colors, the rainbow colors, colors, colors in this deck. It just really feels like stay in that vibe, stay in that zone, make the most use of it while it's here for you. Enjoy the shit out of it. Embrace how good that feels. Embrace the energy of how healthy you are right now in the frequency of this and anything that would disrupt your health, any, any awareness of, of like a violation to it, just like walk away. Like I, I, I like the, um, <clears throat> okay. I like the energy of death and tarot because it always symbolizes not just the ending, but what gets to begin as well. And I want to say in the future, there's a transformation of all those kinds of situations, like your job situation, if they're not giving you like the right pay or something like that, or if they're disrespecting you or dishonoring you. If you take a break, you know, an unscheduled like mental health day or four or five of them, that's good for you. And then it, it might like cause, you know, like an ending or a calamity or a confusion in your work. It's worth it because the death card speaks about those new beginnings and it speaks about the challenge of transformation that is required. And sometimes we do need to walk away from certain things. Sometimes certain things do need to end. This is coming around for the sake of, and the benefit of you being able to be a healthier person overall. You being able to step into that nature and into that mode. This is series and it says nurture. <clears throat> Let yourself, your energy, your plans, your awareness be nurtured through this portal of time, through this loving embrace of happiness and the gift of who you are. We have Aries with act. And that's the idea with this warrior of wands and nymph of pentacles. See this period of time, this moment in time for what it is. Like that yoga teacher said, like, you know, it's here for a time. It, this too will pass. Like nothing, nothing is here forever. So make the most of this while it is here. You'll have challenges in the future. You'll see these people again <laughs> who you're taking a break from. You know, this might last for a week or two or a month or two or a whole year to it doesn't matter it's just see it recognize it walk on that path of the rainbow and make the most of it you know act it's time for action on those jupiter uh collaborative kinds of things that you got going on inside of you we have transits and climate as well as leo with shine it's giving me the vibes of what you cannot master or control right now it has nothing to do with you. This is a repeat of exactly what I said. Those of you who don't like the shine, those of you who don't like your health, those of you, those, those around you who don't like the vibrancy of who you are being a gift to others, um, it, it's just this transits card is just like lean back into there's literally nothing at all to do with that at all right now. Transits comes out when it's like there are things outside of your control. You're just going to have to lean back into the embrace of things will change without your direct efforts, without your domain or dominion over anything. You don't that might be hard. If you're an Aries, <laughs> that might be hard. <laughs> Aries like to act on sh on things and like <laughs> if they're not doing something, then they feel like they're useless. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. That's a bit of like the shadow side of Aries. Um, yeah. Again, there's this repeat of like those who don't like you shining. Those who aren't um, really into it. Just, just it's all going to shift without you needing to do a single thing about that. Like you don't need to do anything about that. That might be really hard. Um, 
yeah, I'm getting some more cards and I feel like seeing that in one other way, just the fact that it's the five, five and a five. Um, I feel like just trust that change, uh, is, is about to change is coming. <clears throat> whether, whether you do anything about it or not, other people are going to change. Your situation is going to change. More approval is coming your way in the future. Maybe not without its challenges, but here we go. You're going to act on where the approval is right now, where the acceptance and the love are right now, and not do anything otherwise. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort, hills, obstacles to overcome, money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it, okay? Get going. <laughs> you have some obstacles to overcome. You can act on them when you're in the rainbow. You can build a solid foundation to act on more in the future since you're going to be in the rainbow. And I feel like this money path is talking about what is to come if you're in a money restriction right now through your efforts of building. I mean, that was Jupiter on the Nymph of Pentacles, and it does feel so beautifully collaborative and nurtured and healthy and supported for you to do these things right now. But also, I feel like right now you might get the support monetarily or you might just like really need to reckon with you do have what you need to be able to take those chances to move forward on the things that you want to build and, and do and go toward you do have enough you are going to have enough i'm talking about the rainbow path we might as well call it like the abundance path or the money path there's more to come if you walk down it rabbit too much concern with sexual matters that might be very specific about something going on over here for you guys with a specific relationship that's just like kind of only tied to sex and nothing else it might not be healthy um we have fair man dealings or relationships with a man with blonde gray or white hair again that might be very specific but i feel like these two coming together are just showcasing let's step into the sacred masculine a whole lot more with this rainbow money thing <laughs> like your sacred masculine wants to be expressed and then like fairness and balance about like how to create how to do worth and money and value how to do that is going to come through maybe a whole lot more I just feel like it being in balance, a whole lot more aligned with like the truth of who you are and loving who you are. I'm, I'm going like really big with this about like how, you know, conversations about like porn and what they do psychologically with expectations and stuff and the challenges inherent in overcoming those kinds of addictions or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking a lot about that kind of stuff. And how it leads to maybe like an impracticality or an imbalance in our sacred feminine energy. Nope, sacred masculine. Woo, both. <laughs> Your last of these cards. Shit, goldfish. We got a guarantee here. We got money path and we got goldfish. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. I kind of want to delete that word or and put in the word and. <laughs> because I mean, like we just went pretty spiritual with this like sacred masculine divine feminine kind of frequency. An elevation of those things combining together to work towards something that is like a more fair and balanced money journey, more fair and balanced and ethical, you know, thing that's for you, that makes you happy, you shine. Anything that is against that um, or is like seemingly above it is not a part of this period of motion for you. Again, period of motion because the three of wands is on the bottom of the deck and it's like, get going, get moving, act, shine, keep going, nurture that whole thing. It's, it's a money path. It's a fair and balanced one. It's not overly concerned with the distractions of our times. You know, keep going. Your last card, fuck. The servant queen. You are worthy of beautiful things. Divine, magnetic, valuable. That's everything embrace it, use it, be aware of it, see through the challenges or conflicts that deny it. Rainbows are like pouring out of her eyes and surrounding her. <laughs> Dance in the rainbow and see what's to come of it. See how divine you are. 
masculine and feminine. See how magnetic you are for all those people who want to work with you, not the ones who don't. See how valuable you are as the money starts flowing in as you move through this, as you go on the rainbow thing, okay? As you enjoy your garden and as you vibrate higher with nurturing your own regard for your own health, especially in finances, really especially in finances and those projects that you want to get going on. Act, okay? <clears throat> I'm done. That's what I have for you all, group three. I feel like I peppered these readings with a whole lot of messages. They're just coming through. So hopefully it wasn't too confusing and it was pretty linear <laughs> and you got it. If you did, if this reading has helped, give it that thumbs up, click on that subscribe button, comment below, share all those kinds of beautiful things that help the little channel grow. Also check out the links that I have in the description of this video. I have the link to the next group tarot gathering. If you are a reader at any level of literally any kind of divination tool, and you want to come bring your tool and also bring something that you would like to receive a reading on because what we do is we gather together over Zoom and we read for one another. You get to practice your intuition, your psychic awareness, your gifts, your art, all that kind of stuff and read for other people. And then you receive a reading from different perspectives at one time because you receive a reading from other people, whoever is there. That's what we do. If you like that, add to the link, sign up for the next one. Love to see you there. Um, otherwise, I'm sending you on your way into this um, dance. Um, please remember we are all free and we are also all connected always at the exact same time. I love you. Hi again. This is for the people who are interested in the decks that I used in this reading. Um, I love to show you guys in case you're curious. I'm showing them to you in the order that I use them in. This is that first Oracle deck. And then here's the tarot deck that I used. The next Oracle deck. The next Oracle deck. <laughs> and then the big, well, I mean, like it's a big deck. They're not big cards, but tea leaf. And then I finish off every reading with one card from this deck. Okay. I love you guys. Enjoy yourselves and each other.